first ever official show of 2024. My first Hermes um, show. Guys, I have been desperately waiting to come back and be reunited with my little, little corner here, guys. So excited to be back over at the vault. If all 13 of you over at Instagram, head, head over to www.luxurypromise.com. Hi everyone, happy new year. Uh, who's with me? I see Rachel's in the house. Come over to luxurypromise.com. I wanna see all of you over the, at the website. Um, so guys, I am so excited to be back. Although I feel, I feel like I never went, but I feel like this is the time where we reset the clock, guys. It's literally, we reset the clock at zero. Zero in sales, zero in days, zero in everything. Hi Farah, hi Asma, hi M Powerful. Thank you so much for heading over to luxurypromise.com. I'm live over at the website. So if you are over at Instagram, please head over to luxurypromise.com. Hit the live show section. Will you be able to join and see me? Hi Samaya. Gosh, all 42 of you, I missed you all. Uh, what did everyone do for New Year's? Chill. How does everyone feel about New Year's? What's everyone's New Year's resolution? Uh, what's your plans? I mean, what are we doing? Should we talk about what we're doing? I'm going to talk to you a little bit about my plans. Um, have a little chat with my community. Um, so welcome everybody um, over to luxurypromise.com and a big happy new year to every single one of you. Now for me, I feel like the last few days of 2023 is all about thinking about the things you want to achieve at the beginning of the year. And for me, I think setting intentions for the new year is... is important. Now I definitely think, okay, spend less, but buy better is what we should be doing guys. So we should be buying better. And hence why this year's focus for myself and the Luxury Promise team is really looking and focusing on investment piece items. So items which one will obviously make you feel good. So going for those pieces that make you feel good, all those sparkly, pretty jewels that you know we all like to, to love and wear and enjoy, but going to pieces um, that are gonna really hold their investment value. For me, I always think about how my year is set for the future. And hence why I started Luxury Promise was always about how can I set my future up and my children's future up and I do really think about where I'm going to spend my money and how I'm going to spend my money and that's why I have never stopped doing an Hermes show it's always about purchasing the right pieces that are going to add uh let's manifest it for Jodie for sure let's uh let's manifest it for sure Jodie so it's all about buying the right pieces. Now for me, there's something that just generally, even if we look at the feeling away from, take away the feeling, let's look at the stats when it comes to Hermes. Hermes is known as a better investment than gold. Uh, Hermes is something that you don't see, especially particularly the pieces behind me. The prices have not crashed. Unlike you will find it on pieces like Chanel vintage jewelry, you have seen the prices come down a bit purely because there are, um, there, there is a big, a lot of, a lot of supply in the market. Always the basic economy, e economics, which is low supply, high demand, which drives prices up. And that's why Hermes pieces are a great investment. Now, a little fun fact, guys, not a fun fact, but Hermes had their first official price increase, which is crazy. Jess, I don't know if you're there, but Hermes have increased the prices. So some of the pieces that we have uh, behind us today, especially the small. Um, thank you, dear. I had my hair blow dry today. See, started the year with nice fresh hair. Um, so um, some of the pieces today, uh, you'll only be able to get them at the price point today because we have been asked by a lot of the consigners who are professional sellers to put the prices up purely because they can't get the prices. Um, mm. Jess has come with a piece of paper. So she, let's start with a show on price increase, guys. So we are going to talk about price increasing increases. Um, I'm going to talk about price increases, then I'm going to talk about the items. The item will appear on the do bottom of the screen if you want it. You can add it to your cart. We take all forms of payment, Apple Pay, credit card, PayPal, split it, which means you can split the payment over the next 12 months. 
Um, we cover your customs and your duties. £10 UK shipping, £35 or $50 outside of the UK. Um, so that's how you shop. And, oh, thank you, Sandy. Um, let's talk about Hermes price increases. So, I don't know. Jess is in the house. I, I'm in the house. Happy New Year, everybody. <laughs> I'm here. I'm not feeling coming on the screen, though, so sorry. Um, so today, there was a big announcement, and there has been some very significant price increases. We don't usually see them so early yeah, on in second, January. Yeah, like the second week of January is when yeah, we typically yeah. see or price Sometimes increase. even later. Yeah. Um, and let's start with some of the small stuff. Blankets, Avalon blankets, they have increased by £100. Wow. And last year, it was about 180. So now they're 1,540 pounds. Wow, so Avalon blankets now are gonna be around just under 1,600 pounds. Today, we do have items listed on the website, which is 1,300. You're more than welcome to check out on them, but with all full transparency, a lot of the stuff that we do have is supplied by professional sellers, and we have been asked to take them offline and put the prices up. And that's a very, trans obviously that's just business, that's how it is, but purely because we can't get them back for those price points. So um, today's the last pretty much the shot of you getting those pieces. Orans. Big price increase, £610. Yeah, so we're seeing £610, which is around 17% price increase on ship rays and Orans, which is just crazy. Yep, so US retail for Orans now is $700. Um, we're seeing Avalon pillows are now £650. Gosh, 2018, Avalon pillows were what, five, four no, ninety-five. No, the, during COVID when we were doing them, they were, four, they were 470 Crazy. Or even less. Um, change trays have gone up. Some of them have gone up by £100. Mosaic uh, coffee cup set uh, now for £410. Um, Togo leather, 30 centimetre Togo leather. It has gone up. So we're by... just if you're just tuning in, Jess is just talking about price increases. So we've got Hermes price increases we've seen go today. So the first time in history. Also, according to some sources, don't know how accurate it is, Hermes are limiting quota to one bag now. So apparently you're gonna be only they're making it even harder to get the bags. So we're seeing between ten and seventeen percent price increases from homeware to bags to accessories um, so today is the last day uh, that we are so we probably between today and tomorrow we do have to go through a cleanup on our website where we have to um, reduce prices on the request of uh, so increase prices <laughs> on the request of resellers so we do yeah. have to have prices go up um, okay. oh, apparently Norma said she heard she's been told also as well that it's one quota bag yeah, so we are hearing that also. We, we slow, we so we saw that started um, started last year, but it wasn't officially announced. But I, I believe they're making an official announcement now. So, with that being said, so M Powerful, that's not going to affect our twelfth of January show. Our pieces are going to be. Uh, and we are going to expect another uh, price increase for Van Cleef and Cartier. It's um, um, it's just the case of now being um, careful about where you when you buy. So we always say the best time to buy pieces, and one of the reasons why we're doing big Hermes um, focused and big Chanel focused shows is because we've been able to attain prices while people are wanting to sell them out. So people are trying to liquidate cash and we're able, and that we find that during Christmas time. So we've been stockpiling amazing pieces, but very, very hard pieces to find. So in some cases um, for the uh, Hermes show, we have uh, Birkin 30s pre-loved coming in all types of colors. Uh, we've got gold, we've got brand new Birkin 35s coming as well. Um, so again, it is, um, so Shahina is all about being known and having a relationship. So I find people that are influencers, you feel like they are, um, it's about, um, it's, it's definitely not luck of the game. 
These influencers do spend their time building relationship with one SA. So if you are looking to buy a Birkin, we always say stick to one store, one SA, yeah. and build that relationship. Now, unfortunately, if you are known in the industry, whether it's uh, an influencer, they're known. So when they walk in, they've got to do less work than the everyday normal person who isn't known on screen, um, where they actually have more of a chance of... Um, you know, already made relationships. So for example, someone like Tamara, most likely the sales assistant is going to get that. So Shahina, they are limited in terms of what they have. The only person I see getting the stock is going to be someone like Tamara and it's two bags for per partner. So for example, I can get access to four bags. I haven't been able to, but in the past, I, I was able to get access to four bags, two with Adam and two with myself. That's still a limit per person. Um, and that's what we're finding What with influencers, partners are known. And um, so, for example, someone like Claire, Claire, husband's on the wish list. She's on the wish list. I'm on the wish list. Adam on the wish list. So actually, it's not, um, and, and it's not just that. And plus, pieces like... Um, constants in per, 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 some places aren't aren't wish list so it depends depends on um where you're getting it and per country so if you go to somewhere like italy you it may you may not be on the same system as a uk so you need to get your hubby shaheen i'm telling you get your hubby to get onto the list like get everybody you know to get on the list okay now one place you do not need to buy anything or worry about wish list is here, okay? Now, definitely, you don't need to buy anything from, you don't, and if you really want a belt that no influencer has, I'm going to do the Epson uh, 10827, 10827. So, we are going to show you a piece, which is the H-pop belt, uh, belt. Now guys, if you want something no influencer has, this is it. No one has this. Um, you can, Lily, you can, your, you, you can be on the same wish list system as your husband. But make sure your husband doesn't go in with you. Okay, he has to go in separately without you. Um, now, this is your Epsom H-Pop belt. Now, we often do see the Hermes Kelly belt it is something that is probably more common. I wouldn't say it's common, but we see, we see it more on influencers because it's a classic, so they're going to go for classic pieces. If you want to go for a piece which is, one, less than retail price, now very way below retail price, and also one that you do not see a lot of influencers wearing is the H-Pop belt. They don't have it. Um, now, you, you have this beautiful piece, which is a size 80. It's a ro is it rose gold? In rose gold, you've got the enamel buckle, which is quite uni uh, uh, unique. Uh, yes, Anna, I just, we just went through the price increases now. So on bags, we're seeing it's between 7 and 10% on the bags. And on um, accessories, we're, we're seeing between 10 and 17% on accessories. And the price increase has happened already today. Now, as you guys will know, I'm currently wearing a high-waisted, and actually, I do probably need to add one to, I probably need to add something to my wardrobe right now, is a H-pop belt. No influencer has it, so it's only going to be you. Now, in terms of this, it's a size um, 90, and it is uh, way below retail. So you can see I have my little pop of H popping out, and it's new with everything. It's £615 or 781 US dollars. So you can kind of see. Let me just take it to the mirror. And guys, this is the last chance... Uh, to buy this piece oh i love that guys super unique no one no influence has got this from my understanding so uh, this is a size 90 uh we do have it in another size should you need i think we have one in 85 and an 85 so if it's too big just let me know uh this is rose gold so the h pop belts come in black but in rose gold and it's a size 90 if personally what i would do is i'd go for a size 90 i'd add more holes into it so i'd add more holes to this so here we go it's rose gold you've got the beautiful pop and i can now wear my high-waisted pants with a little Hermes pop belt and happy new year purse pop exactly shahina and 
no one's got it it's very very unique the price point is around 200 pounds below the classic kelly belt uh, so completely giftable hermes will punch more holes in this as well so hermes will punch more holes um now i, I do have a kelly belt i have one kelly belt that's it so i'm gonna do the kelly belt next now that's pinned and as mentioned it's your last chance opportunity to get that at this crazy price point now, the one Kelly belt I'm going to do next is uh, 07PCA350, 07PCA350. Now, this is an Hermes Kelly belt. It's in a beautiful uh, blue. Is it with that? What colour is this official blue? Navy. It's navy. Yeah. So, the, the colour is officially navy. Again, guys, we don't see a lot of influencers with a navy Kelly belt. Nope. We don't. We see them with black and gold. If you want something really unique, a navy popped onto a black outfit is really, really gonna pop. Now, Mark, if you are new, welcome. My name is Sabrina. Um, if you want to buy any of the items, you will see at the bottom of the screen, you will see um, a little picture of the belt that I've just shown. So as I show more and more pieces, you'll see more and more items at the bottom. If you tap on that image, it will show you the product, just like you would on any other website. And you can read details and what comes with it. Everything I'm showing you today is new with everything. And if you like it, you can just add it to your card. We use Apple Pay, PayPal, credit card. Apple Pay is the fastest way to check out. Um, and we cover your customs and your duties. If you're outside of the UK, it's going to be £35, which is approximately $50, around €50. Euros. And the price does include the duties and the customs, which can amount to around 18% depending on where you are. That does not cover state tax or usage tax. So this is the Navy belt. And um, thank you. I love rose gold. A lot of people don't like rose gold, but I love the shimmer of it. Now, guys, this is a crazy price for a Kelly belt. It's £720. It's $928. It's brand new. It's Epsom. So again, you've got the little pop. You've got the classic belt. But I actually quite like the little black pop belt because it's that little H that sits there. Um, so this is brand new in its box. And remember now, that's going to be um, now almost like 30% below retail. Um, oh no, Ma, but you're buying right. As long as you buy right, it never feels wrong. And that's why Hermes is never wrong because it feels right and it is right. Okay, I'm going to do my last, um, I'm going to move on to a bag. Now, my favourite bag, and the first time ever I have ever, actually there's too many favourite bags here. The first time ever I have a bag, which I know Jess for, blue jean is very Jess. Oh, yeah. Now, if you know, um, then it's not reversible. Um, is it reversible? So none of these belts are reversal, reversible because the um, H is attached to this. Constance belt is reversible. It's the only one that is reversible from the family of belts. So um, and there's Kelly belts are not reversible, only the Constance belt. Hopefully that makes sense. And the Kelly belt is a classic. So let's bring out, of course, I can. Which one? The Kelly belt, Lily? Let me take my Michael Jackson gloves off. They're very hard to operate. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. I love the navy. I absolutely love navy. I feel like... There's not enough net. Navy for me is a real, real classic. So there you go. That's what it would look like over. Oh, oh my God. Do we have a Navy Kelly? Where's the Navy Mini Kelly? Did it sell the Navy so, Mini Kelly? Oh my God. You'd need that. I mean, We tried to sell it as a set, but somebody just Oh my God. It, but... Guys, that was a 10 agate. Uh, we, they are currently hard to get. Uh, I do, Ida. I do. You want to see it? It is amazing. And I told, I told you it's going to happen. What? Looks like I'm going to have to give the gift the cover away. So what's 
poster. With the cover. <laughs> With what? The gold cover. Um, so I, I can show that next for you. So this is uh, the Kelly belt on. Kelly. Uh, Kelly? Lily? Lily Kelly. Oh, what? The, the cover? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um... Right, um, I'm going to go to my special bag and Ida, I'm going to get that for you. Just give me a few uh, minutes to sort that out. Now, okay, this is something I'm very, very passionate about, guys, Hermes pieces. And I feel like I'm in a little bit of way and kind of like lost my mojo on how special some of these bags are and this year my focus really is going to be on Hermes and bringing bags which are investment value. I don't want to sound like I'm blowing my own horn but my whole career has been based and Jess who's behind me. We have changed our life and I'm not just being exaggerating. We have changed our life because of the way we bought and sold Hermes bags. It is what we've been trading for the last 10 years. Uh, neither one of us have had a big family pot to rely on. It is honestly something that for me, if you are looking for a bag that ultimately can help you make a good financially sound investment, it is Hermes, Birkins and Kelly's. And I have vouched to, my, to myself this year that this is what I'm going to be focusing 2024 on is making sure that enough of us women have that financial independence. And I, I, I hate talking about it, but Farah, this, oh my Farah, do you need this? Maybe you do. Now, the Kelly and the Birkin is one, which we always talk about, but the Constance is also super, super rare. Now, this, guys, is a bag that in the resale market should be worth about £19,500. It isn't. It is the Hermes Constance in blue jean. The first time I've ever, ever come across Hermes Constance in a blue jean. Now, in the past, Hermes Birkins and Kelly's were around only in Con uh, Kelly or a Birkin. They did not produce it in a Constance. This year, it has come out in a Constance. It is the only one we have and Jess has allowed me to do a very, very, very special price on this today because it's the start of the year. And that's why I'm super, super excited to bring you the first ever Blue Jean Constance that's ever been featured on a Luxury Promise show. Now, this features that contrast stitching, Epsom leather, Palladium hardware. It is brand new, new, stinking new. It's so stinking clean and new. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. That... I don't know if I want to let it go. Now, this is one of those bags. Once it's gone, it's gone because it's, you can't even buy it pre-loved. Now, when we mean full set, full set in the word of Hermes language means it comes with this dust bag, its box, and its receipt. It is brand new. It's a 2023, a late 2023 piece. Um, it comes with everything. So the Constance 18, I'll just quickly show you on, is designed to be worn on the hip. Now, guys, it is... The, the, I, I don't even want to say the price. Again, this should be £6,000 more. It's £13,900, which is $17,674. It is the price of a regular Constance. It is a premium price, yes, but for what it is, being the only one in the market, you can't get this. You cannot get this. Now, guys... This isn't a deal to be made after the show. I've stop it. I'm stopping that because I really want bags to hold its value. And we have an influence in the market which can destroy values of bags and I'm not going to be doing that. That's my vouch for 2024. It's my hey, New Year's hey, resolution. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> 2024, New Year's resolution, guys. Honestly, I've already done a price slash on it. I'm not, I cannot reduce it anymore. So if we... If there's any messages outside the show, I can't help. Of course, guys, um, if you've got any of your um, uh, you know, items that you want to sell, we are starting to do some buy-ins again, so you can get in contact with us. 
Um, however, we, we can't hold it for exchange. Now, this is first to the market. I know I'm spending some time on it. If you do want this, you just have to tap on the icon, add it to your cart. Customs and duties is covered within the purchase. And the price, guys, I'm telling you that this, I really want one, one of you guys in the community who's on the live shows. Guys, we do have over a quarter of a million people that do hit the up hit the website and per things do sell offline but there's only a hundred of you or a few of you guys i get to talk on a live show with now if you want this then please do anna yes we are we'll be doing some buy-ins and um, so um very selective buy-ins i'm being very selective with the buy-ins but if there is something that you uh want to sell then please do um get in touch with one of the girls and this is crazy price crazy Think about it. Think about how to move your money around. Do your thing. Okay, that is pinned. If you're thinking about a recommendation, I'd say that's my number one recommendation of this year. Now, I'm going to go on to... Um, Ida, are you still there? I'm just waiting to head back on the gold yeah, I'm piece. Just, I'm, just I'm, give I'm, us a few minutes. Now, in the meantime, there is a bag that I know is another great price point. So... Typically in the resale market, guys, please do your research. I always recommend you doing the research. Guys, you can always, you're more than welcome to send Lisa a message after the live show or myself a DM on Instagram. I'm always ha I would always happily hope, help to give you information that you need um, if you're thinking about a purchase. Uh, oh, do you have any Goya trunks? Yes, we'll buy some Goya trunks. Send me details, Ali. Now, this is... A colour that's been reintroduced. Now, it is the colour Blue Orage. Blue Orage was 2021, 2022. And we only saw it come in a Birkin 30 for some reason. They've now re brought back Blue Orage only for a small period of time, but in a Birkin 25. Now, Blue Orage has a blue undertone. So Hermes is known to have undertones. So there's certain things that you... With, with the undertones, it's like you get two bags in one. So in some colours, it looks grey. And in some colours, this is going to look blue. So Chanel Kelly is coming up. Everything behind me, guys, is coming up. So do, do stay tuned. So you've got your Birkin 25. Now, something like this in the resale market should be around 24500 24,500. Hey everyone. Um, hey Nada. Now this has got your gold hardware, blue orange, beautiful grey, blue tone Birkin in Togo. It's never been used. It comes with its dust bag, key and clochette, and its receipt and box. So it's a new piece, fresh, smells fresh. This you can this smells like a car. <laughs> and it is um a really beautiful piece. If you're thinking about 25, I feel like this price point is good enough to still make some money in it. So, um, happy new year. And this is the year. Guys, this is the year. It's the year of the dragon. Uh, of course I can. It is the year of the dragon, guys. Which, if you guys know, is a very special year. Who's having a baby? Who's having a baby? Apparently 2024 is a year to have a baby dragon. Um, so how are resale prices determined? Um, so C is all determined on um, the demand and the rarity of the bag. So if this is, yes, it's the year of the first Birkin. Now guys, this is 21,050 pounds, which is $26,765. And uh, Mom to Dobbies, all our custom and duties are covered. That's a standard in, uh, a standard checkout for anyone who doesn't check out on the live show. So during the live shows, we do cover your customs and your duties, uh, but outside of the live show, we don't. So if you want anything today, Mom to Dobbies, I will. Your customs and your duties is covered. Now, um, these are directly sourced from customers who will directly get them from. Um, Hermes. What are you going to check out? Are you going to get the Constance? But what are you going to get? I haven't come. I'm going to do the Constance, uh, the Goyard in a second. Um, so um, these come directly from people who then go to resell them um, and they have never been used. So Jess is, um, is the person who deals with, so the, basically the vault deals with only new pieces. And of course I can show you 
uh, the Birkin, the Constance without light. So there you go. This is it. Absolutely beautiful. And, oh my God, it's stunning. Look how beautiful. It's, it's almost stunning. like a tin it's gray. So, yeah, it's so hard to get it right on the camera or even in pictures. Like, it, I'm, I, sorry, I'm just going to quickly just show you this on me because I'm, I'm trying to, like I said, and I'm going to do the Goyard in a second. Um, yes, everything comes from Hermes. Uh, event at one point they all come with the Hermes receipts so anyone who's looking to buy everything comes with the Hermes receipt so what I love about blue orange guys is it almost can look black it's and in in the when the light is on this it's going to look like a tin gray in some lights it has do you have an etane Birkin um, no etane is more gray this has you can see the blue yeah so let's show you this against Green Mayer. So it is more dark. So when it's against a grey, you're going to see the blue tones. So there we go. And I'm going to show you. And S, I can hear. I see your question, and I'll answer it in a second. So S, I've seen your question, and I'll answer it. So this Norma is the blue Constance in dark. There is no light other than the light in the ceiling, uh, which is a very damn good light. <laughs> it's a beautiful chandelier. And um, so this is the Goyard. And um, it is just stunning. So there you go. You've got the Epsom. You've got the Palladium hardware. And uh, it is just incredible. And as you will know, like I said, the price is very, very competitive. Um, so the Constance uh, hair, um, Norma, is a ostrich. So I can do, a comp I'll do the orange Constance, the black Constance next. <laughs> If, it, if I don't drop any bags out today. So, oh God, <laughs> dropping bags. So let me do the black Constance next to it. Okay. Um, oh. Now. Let me just show you again. The Constance with the light here. And I'm going to do the black constants next. So, I don't have any black Epsom constances at the minute. Black Epsom constants are super, super rare to come by. So, this is the blue jean. Now, S, you earlier on asked me about um, often, how, why are we not cheaper than... Why are we not cheaper than... Hermes, because of bags being fake, etc. So, um, S, if you are new to us, uh, we are all authenticators. So everything that you see goes through a very thorough authentication process. And they are pieces that are either coming directly from Hermes, um, and it is an item that you are um, not able to easily access. Because of the lack of accessibility, means that the prices are more expensive. It's like a limited edition, it's like art. If you only have one Van Gogh, you only have Van Gogh, it's gonna be much more value, valuable. Um, so very much um, the basic economics is low supply, high demand, the price is gonna be more expensive than the retail price. If you're looking for pre-loved pieces, sometimes you can find used bags, um, which are less than the retail price. Often that's going to be the Birkin 35, a Birkin 40, or a Constance. Um, so um, one of the reasons uh, why we sell it for more. But we do have a very, very, a very, very, very thorough um, vetting process of authentication. Now, talking about ostrich. What sold? Uh, oh. Yay, congrats. Thank you. Yes, the hack is a good investment. Okay, now this is an Hermes Constance. So we're gonna, can I get you to put this on my hand again? Oh. <laughs> there we go sorry this is the, um so you um uh so Zena, how are you welcome if you see i'm live over at luxurypromise.com so if you go over to luxurypromise.com you'll be able to see me on the full screen now this is um of course i'll show you the faborg next um 
Uh, yeah, if you send Anna and uh, Lisa a message and I'll make sure and send me a message at Sabrina Sadiq, I can find out why it was cancelled and what was the reason and see if I can get you another one. Now, this is a very, very rare piece. It's a Constance in ostrich. Again, super, super rare to come by. It's a rose gold hardware. Now, ostrich Constance is just generally ostrich is quite rare you don't see them now it's probably more durable than most exotic skin so something like an exotic which is a crocodile or alligator um you need to be very careful any fingerprints can damage the bag it's a super um delicate bag now ostrich i'd say is a bit more hard wearing depending on the color you get so ostrich is quite a tough skin and if you're going for a black then you aren't gonna you still have to be very careful of course it's still an, an, an ostrich um but this is a beautiful grain so you can see the pores on this ostrich is really really nice and with the gold hardware as well now if you are looking for something that is rare and unique then the ostrich constants in black in a Constance oh, 18. Love, I just love ostrich. You know yeah. it very is like. Uh, yeah, you do. I really love ostrich. And it's and it's ostrich a, a tough, like... it's a really tough skin. So I think people often get worried. Unless you're going for light ostrich, um, like I, I don't know, like a, a gold or a colour that can stain. So watermarks will stain this, but because this is black, you're not gonna have to have that worry. It's gonna be quite a sturdy piece. Uh so yes, it exactly that is true. Uh, my opinion on Stingray. Oh, Stingray. Mm, I, don't I don't know. It's too cute. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, in, in terms of Stingray, a lizard, in terms of lizard, it's very durable. It is super durable. Uh, no, in terms of lizard, it's not as durable. You have to be very careful in heat and the condition. Now, this actually isn't a bad price. This is what the price of the constant should be in blue G. It's 18,600 pounds or $23,650. So 18,600 pounds or $23,650. So again, guys, if you want this, then you can tap on the icon. It is not bad, right? I think no one was probably thinking about this being in like the 22 and a half thousand pound mark. So in terms of the price point, it's, it's not far from leather bags. What a leather constant in black rose gold should go for. Okay, so we have some requests for the rose gold. Ida, I'm going to do the Bahrainia. Ida, are we okay to the gold? Hmm? Are we okay to do okay, it? Okay, so... Okay. Ida, are you there? Okay. Oh, cool. One second. Okay. So. Do you want to pass me one of those? Do you want me to do it? Do you, Ida, so tell me, do you want the Kelly and the gold together or do you want me to show you it separately? Let me know, Ida, how you want it. Um, so for the ostrich, CC, it is new it's 2024 so 2023 with everything you can see full details on the script on the icon if you add uh, add it on uh, the gray um the gray birkin 20 is a, a 25 okay so i'm gonna okay i'll show you separately uh thank you cc lover okay we are going to show you the cover first Okay, now this is a, a, a new, basically a newer brand um, which uh, sells this separately for a, a Mini Kelly. So it's a, a unique a, a, a French brand, a French brand which has just le basically re recently launched and um, to do uh, very very rare covers for your Birkin or your Mini Kelly. This is absolutely stunning. So it's crafted from leather with almost like a lizard a lizard effect on this. So you can see uh, that this piece is just incredible. So the the purpose of this is that. It is designed, oh, wrong one. Um, is the, what year is the Constance? Is it 2021? 
Which one? The ostrich? Yeah. 2021. Um, I don't think the receipt is 2021. I'll be able to So this is designed to be a cover for your Kelly. So it fully opens up. You can use it on any other Kelly to basically dress up your bag, which I think is amazing. So for me, if I'm going to go for like a, if you want to go for a nice evening wear, evening out, and you just want to have a little dress for your um, Kelly, this is insane. It actually is raw leather, but it's got this beautiful gold embossing on it. It's super, super cute and fun. Now, this, um, if you do want this, we only have one available. If you do want it, you will need to say sold because it isn't something that is, um, yet for sale. Personally, I think you need to buy this and the Kelly. You need to buy this and the Kelly. Now, this is, sorry, can you remind me again the price? Just the, just the thing? Yeah. 1300 Pounds. Yeah. It's, I need a dollar, sorry. Oh, sorry. Um, dollars, <laughs> 1650 So 1300 so pounds or 1650 dollars. So if you want this, just say sold and it can be yours. Uh, but it is, um, super super cute it, you don't like it's different it just dresses up your bag and i just love the way it just slides on like it's perfect right so that's gary that is a sold situation so if you want it just say sold i can send you an invoice later now protection on a night out exactly now let's talk about the mini kelly now this is a mini kelly i do have a black mini kelly uh, maybe you need the black mini Kelly and then I can talk about that piece behind me. <laughs> now, this is a black mini Kelly, which if you've been looking for a good investment bag, this is it. The black mini Kelly we have seen go up even in the resale market used. So yeah. we're finding that people that bought a mini Kelly last year for around the uh, you know 21,000 mark are still able to sell their mini Kellys and get their money back or sometimes even more. We're seeing pre-loved mini Kellys in black go for 24,000 pounds. Pre-loved, a pre-loved mini Kelly. So for the first time in history, we are seeing mini Kellys um, which are going to be um, more valuable than the actual resale value uh, that's the only one available at the minute so we've only got the black and gold currently at the minute so um i know it's absolutely stunning now this is epson leather gold hardware comes with um from 2023 comes with box and its receipt and its original strap i'm not going to open it up because it is a new piece and um, it is just amazing. So if you are looking, it is a premium, but these are one of the pieces, because of the rarity, I think we've had three black mini Kellys in 2023. That's it. So they are quite rare to come by in terms of uh, color. And if you're looking for one mini Kelly, you're looking for a classic, you will find that actually the one protected asset has not gone, because not everybody has access to these pieces. This is it. This is it. I love the Kelly Depeche on men. I love it. I think it's super, super cool. And um, it is crazy. So here we go. Now, this is £26,800, which is $34,076. And yes, Norma, typically when it comes to um, the Mini Kelly in the black, they, they're rare. They're so hard to come by. The Mini Kelly is one of the hardest bags for any person who has a big profile, even for them to score the bag. So what we're finding is Mini Kelly's blacks, Socoras, bubblegum are prices of when they are even secondhand and used are more premium. So if you look today in the resale market, just go to Google. Don't have to go to Luxury Promise. Go to Google, look at pre-loved Hermes Mini Kelly. In the year 2018-19, we were selling Mini Kellys at 12,000 to 13,000 pounds. That was the resale value of Hermes Mini Kellys. Now those same Mini Kellys, we are seeing people have come back with that two years later and the pre-loved Mini Kellys are going from 18 to 19,000 pounds. Find me a pre-loved Mini Kelly for less than 18 to 19,000 pounds is very, very hard to come by. Unless it's battered, unless, it's, unless there's something wrong with it, that you are not, I'd, even then I don't even see 
many in the market for less than 18, 19,000 pounds, pre-loved, used. So that's why a mini Keddy is considered a great, great investment. Um, now, someone wanted to see the Birkin 25 in a grey, and I'm going to do some Goyard in a second. Um, does Hermes not see a gap here and they can increase rent? Well, they are seeing. That's why they put the prices up today uh, by 10%. That's why, that's why people like Hermes and Chanel are putting prices up. And they do, have been doing two price increases every year. But also, guys, it's free marketing. If they, if they increase supply, people are going to want it less. Um, and it's, it's keep, keeping your, your repeat customer and no customer base by giving them still that good price point. So they, once you're on the list and you have a good relationship, you are um, going to be able to get that. Um, now, um, I have Birkin 25, Green Mayer. And if you are looking for a nice classic grey, then Green Mayer is absolutely beautiful. Now, MS does have actually a wide option of... Um, um, greys. So they have Green Mayer, they have Blue Orange, which is some form of grey in some way. It's a grey. You have Etane, you have Eto, um, you have uh, even some um, like Blue Glacier. You have a lot of grey options in Hermes. Now Green Mayer, I'd say, is the evolution of Green Mayer. So Green Mayer was a really, really light grey and then they introduced Green Mayer, which is a much more darker grey. Now I'd say this is in between Etain and Grimea uh, and Grimea. So this is the in between. So it's a pure grey, and I will show you. I've turned off the lights, guys. I've got no light as well. I'm going to show the Kelly, uh, the Kelly next. Now this is absolutely stunning, Karen. It is a gorgeous colour. Now it's got palladium hardware. It is again a newer piece. Full details. All the full description of the year. The stamp will be in the in. In the item, I'm not going to be opening up any of the bags, so please, I advise you all to click on that icon. So just click on the piece, and you'll be able to see that. I, I cannot confirm uh, the stamping. You're going to have to do that, um, because I just don't want to open up the bag. It just starts pulling off this. Now, um, this is, again, absolutely incredible. So Togo, Palladium Hardware, 2025 a really nice subtle grey, and I'll show you between the blue orange. What do you guys prefer, blue orange or green maya? So this is blue orange. Um, 2022, and th the price of this is amazing, guys. Again, we do sometimes see Hermes introducing older stamps, um, and this has never been used. Both, you like blue orange? So Jess votes blue orange. Yeah. So Blue Orange B Stamp 2023. So this is 2023 and this is U Stamp 2022. What's everyone's votes? Green Mayer. So we've got Kappa Green Mayer. I know, it's just, both of them are really incredible. They're both lovely. You can, when you see them together. I, mean, I like gold hardware. Yeah. And you like blue. Mm. So this you can see the blue and the grey. I'd say this is going to be uh, more of a... You can bring out the blue. You can bring out the blue. Uh, oh, there's a, I have a good question over at Instagram. I am actually live at luxuryprovence.com and I'm just going to turn the screen. So here I have someone saying, apart from economic marketing strategy or reducing supply to inflate prices, what justifies the prices of Hermes bags? This is a general question as I have never understood. Now, just like anything luxury, I'm just going to obviously um, talk about the question there. For me, it's about Hermes craftsmanship that they do create. So one thing that Hermes has not reduced the quality of, which you do see with Chanel, is the artisan's training and the hand-making of each product. Now, it takes around 40 hours to craft one bag and five years to train one artisan to make an Hermes bag. And for me, that if you are somebody who really appreciates luxury and craftsmanship, and why I buy luxury is because of craftsmanship and also in terms of value. 
Hermes has not reduced that. So despite it putting its price increases with the economy and cost of items becoming more and more expensive, they have not reduced the value of their craftsmanship. Now, other than influencers grabbing the bad guys, which is something that can't be controlled, everyone becomes an influencer at one point with the, the way that they're adding more and more product. They are one brand that has never used mass marketing. And Goyard is another brand that actually does that. And hence why we find Laura Piana, Goyard and Hermes are brands that really hold their value and appeal to very high-end customers in terms of like people are willing to pay that price point because of the fact that they are not diluting their brand in terms of marketing. So you do not see... Uh, you know, supermodels being gifted or walking on a runway with a Birkin. Yeah, I they think are. It's also really important that people that there's lots of um, falsities around whether people are gifted. Yeah. And there's, influencers are not gifted. Celebrities just aren't gifted. Actors. Exactly. Um, but there's so many rumours you hear. Oh, Tamara was gifted that Birkin, or yeah. uh, so was Kim Kardashian. It's like no, like. The Kardashians are well known yeah. for buying from the resale market. And, and people you think may be getting them from the store may not necessarily always be yes. getting them from the store, guys. And that's my very discreet message to you. So yes. you may think that influencers are getting it from the store. They are just not telling you their source. Mm -hmm. So always remember that. And um, what people portray is always the reality. So... Um, yeah, so that's kind of the answer to that question. Now, also another thing that Lydia is saying um, is um, you had a bag back from the spa and they, they only put it in a crumpled paper, crumpled paper inside. But how was the spa service? Did you find they did anything good on your bag or did you just find they did nothing? Typically, um, they do a fantastic job on the spas. And um, you have to be very specific with asking them, so don't assume they will do everything you want. If you're not clear yeah. with replace the hardware, clean this, they might just do something very standard. Yeah, I mean, um, as far as, yeah, there's lots of levels of it, so definitely worth talking, talking to the person about what their recommendation. Uh, bigger bags are cheaper, not brand new bigger bags. So Birkin 35s are, uh, again, they have the same resale value as a smaller one in terms of they, they sell for more. Maybe not 100% more, but they still sell up to 70% more than the retail. pre love Birkin 35s, you can find them currently. On our website, you still find them below retail. On other resale websites, you will not find Hermes Birkin 35s pre-loved. The average resale price of a Birkin 35 is £12,500. You will find that we do sell them for about 10500 to 10950 So um, there we go. Currently now, the Hermes Spa is taking a long time, guys. They're taking a long time to do it. it there is a shortage, um, again, because of the craftsmanship. It's a dying craftsmanship, guys. Uh, okay. Now... I know, first of all, we were just talking about the price increase in Hermes. Do you have more information? Do you have an article that's come out that you can share that we can find out more? Now, I'm going to quickly just show you. Um, uh, uh, yeah, I, I understand, Lydia. They sh again, sometimes the service isn't always there. Um, now, this is the uh, small Kelly, and I do see some more questions coming up. I'm just going to quickly go through this, and then I'm going to address some of your questions. I can see Ravin and Ali. I'm going to get back to you in 10 seconds. I know people have been patiently waiting for the Chanel Kelly. Now, the Chanel Kelly, um, this is, for me, a, a beautiful bag. Now, again, guys, you will find that when brands return, thank you, Barbara, to their archival pieces, they are much more valuable in the resale market. So the Chanel Mini Kelly is um, uh, a bag that had, well, the Chanel Kelly bag, not Mini Kelly, the Chanel Kelly bag is a relaunch of a vintage version. And it is one of the bags that always, always has held its resale value. Now, this actually is sold at a premium price. So if you're getting brand new Chanel, small flat bags, mini flat bags, caviar flat bags, or one of these, they actually, because of that price increase, guys, although it's so damn frustrating that they have put their prices in, it is the first time, guys, that we have seen Hermes 
and Chanel on par with almost the resale value. So if you go into a um, Chanel store and you buy a, a brand new Chanel flat bag, that is now first time ever in the history you've seen. It is almost 2,000 to 3,000 pounds more valuable the minute you walk out the store with it. And yes, the price is increasing is frustrating, but because they have made it harder and they've made it more expensive, it has become more valuable in the resale market. So guys, that's where buying vintage means that you can bring in that real investment value. Now, this is one of the bags that is a re-edition. It's new, it is the mini. It is aged calf skin. It comes with its box microchip. It's gold hardware. It's never been used. It's a um, full set situation. It's seven thousand two hundred pounds, nine thousand one hundred fifty four US dollars. This is the the bag to get. So if you are thinking about buying a current season bag, it is this. It is this one. Um, yes, I agree. I mean, yeah, certain pieces. Uh, but this re-edition is, is stunning. It is, I love the little uh, crossbody to it. It is the hottest bag right now in the market. So if you're looking to add a Chanel investment bag, then this is one of those bags that everybody is speaking about and you cannot get your hands on. It's completely sold out. If you don't want to stand in the queue, I, I cannot. I don't care how good the bag is. I am not standing in any queue. Literally, any queue, I am not standing in it, full stop. Now, uh, here we go, and that is now pinned. That is today's hottest bag in the market in terms of Chanel. Um, if you do want something that is slightly below that, vintage Chanel um, Kelly bags are still available to buy right now. Um, I know, but I love the light pink. I love, Monica, you're still a pink girl. You're still a pink girl. You can get the black later. The colored bags is hard to always get. We know that. Um, right. Uh, give me one second. Uh, okay. I am, you're thinking of investing in a just in clue. Should I buy it now? Yes, Sandra. To be honest, you are, one, there's just in clue. If you see it in the resale market, you only see it around 5% below, um, which is the one that we need to do. Um, oh, give me one second. Um, so, go for it. Please go for it because you're not going to be able to, you're going to regret it later. Now, I'm going to do my favourite bag. Which one? I think I know. Which one? You're like, which one? All of them! Yeah. <laughs> I am obsessed in my life. Where's Adam? Hello. Where is Adam? <laughs> Honestly, Adam is like, no, bite yourself. I am obsessed. Yeah. This I is, am. This is, we've never had it. I, I know. Mean, that's why we get excited when we genuinely see something we haven't had before. We know if we have never had it in our hands... It has to be rare. Uh, so rare that I've forgotten the name of the colour. Okra. Uh, what? Okra. 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 O-C-R-E. Oh, okra. Oh, okra. Uh, now, I'm getting my gloves back on. This is the piece. Now, if you're an ultimate collector, ultimate collector, this for me is holy grail. I have to say, it's even more holy grail than Himalayan for me. This for me is even more special than a Himalayan. Now, this is insane. It is absolutely beautiful. It's a first to its market in the resale world. It is the Hermes Okra Kelly Cut in suede, which is Hermes language is the Dubele. Now, this is, which I'm probably butchering the French version of how to say it. Now, when it comes to suede Hermes bags, guys, I did score a bag, which I will tell you all my story about very soon, which is suede. I love suede bags. I love the more used. I love the more bag, the stains. I, lo I, I love it when it's had a life. Now for me, real luxury is suede. It's that Laura Piana-esque double. Now Hermes does do suede the best. They do it the best. 
Now, this is in the new colour called Okra. Now, the, it, my dream suede bag would be a Nosset. Nosset, mm -hmm. either in a Kelly or a Birkin. It's really, really rare to come by. And again, this is a bag. If it gets marked, it's okay. Oh, my God. There's a suede mini Kelly cup. Is there a suede mini, a mini Lindy? Mini Lindy? Yeah, I've never seen there's a suede. Grizzly. It's Grizzly. Oh, Grizzly. Not oh, oh not Grizzly. Not, yeah. So there's two it's versions it's of Hermes. That in the middle, oh, okay. Like, but it's not, so yeah. there's two versions of Hermes that do suede. So uh, or use duble. It's the classic um, all Kelly cup as well. Uh, buffalo leather. Yeah, I, I like buffalo leather. It's a, it's a sturdy leather. If you like a grain, you're going to absolutely love this. Now the color is okra, which is um, a beautiful beige tone, almost like a in between a gold and a caramel. It's stunning. Now this has got, is that permabrass hardware? Permabrass, yeah. Oh my God, this has got permabrass hardware, which you typically only see on special orders. This is very, very special. So if you are a true Hermes collector, then this is, for me, the one to go for. It's brand new with its box and its receipt. It is currently the only one in the world to market. The only one in the world. I feel like this should be like, sound effect like well well do 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 it is a def it is definitely a definition of pure luxury c you are correct that's twenty four thousand pounds which is thirty thousand six five hundred sixteen us dollars guys i know it's a premium but you have not had to go in and spend on hermes china and hermes blankets and hermes towels hermes lip oils hermes pants i don't know literally hermes dog shampoo that's what you have to buy to spend to get something like this, guys. You don't need any of that junk. You, just check you Isabel's just, you stories. Just go straight. Check Isabel's yeah. stories on all the stuff that you're going to have to buy to get those special Hermes pieces. In the end, you might have just cut to the chase and gone straight into it. So Perma Barca, um, Irina, um, I don't know if I'm saying your... Uh, um, name right. So Hermes do certain colour hardware. Um, so you see Hermes has gold hardware. So that's the official technical name for it. And then for, for this, the technical heart name is Palladium. And this is known as Permabrass. So Permabrass is like a lighter gold. Um, it's in between a light gold and a rose gold. So you can see the difference between the two. So it's a much more muted gold. I'd say that's probably the new version of um, Chanel's gold. Um, and then you have rose gold, you have matte gold hardware. Um, so uh, hardware changes. So it's just basically the hardware. And sending presents to your SA. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's that piece. Now, this is, I'm obsessed. I literally track, so I got offered this bag in store. So I do have this, I'm yet to do an unboxing of my own bag. I've not even opened it out of the box yet. It is the Grizzly. This is the technical term of what a grizzly is. So a grizzly is a combination of swift leather and suede with a, a leather piping. So this is known as a grizzly. Now, Hermes did the grizzly a few, when was it? 20, early 2000s. So we see the grizzly being introduced in the early 2000s. The first colours they did it was in a classic tan, which was a much deeper gold. And they did it with red, with capucine. Now, um, I actually have um, collected a few suede bags. Um, one of the Grizzlies I purchased was actually from Luxury Promise, which was a crazy price two years ago. And um, this is a super, super rare bag. Happy New Year, everybody. Now, this is a combination of e taupe and a new colour, which is... I can't remember the name. Uh, it's... Uh... This is a new colour, which I meant to... Got Gris, I don't know if I'm pronouncing Gris, it right. Gris Calou and Etu. Gris Calou. So Gris Calou and Etu, Etu as well. Um, Claire also has this in a Birkin 30. So this is, again, a super, super rare bag to come by. And actually the price point is this, is, is, is insane. Um, now, Etu with suede, you can see has that kind of like khaki tone. Um, my one I have also is a Birkin 30. The Birkin 25 was only just launched so they did the they reintroduced the grizzly only in the birkin 30 um and the kelly cut is brand new it is a brand new 2024 purse pop brand new i'm gonna go back 
but it is beautiful. I mean, I don't know. It's like a, a carpet. You just, I just want to stroke it. <laughs> it's crazy, right? And we are seeing, trust me, guys, there's going to be a huge demand on this. Like, literally, I did a post on Instagram, and then I started getting requests for Birkin. So I posted a Birkin 30 with a 35 um, Nusset. And literally, I had so many requests. I was like, why did I post it? Now I can't get hold of the bag that I want. It literally, people started selling them out. I'm like, damn, why did I do that for? Um, now, again, this is absolutely beautiful. It's a 25, um, and it's special. Special, special, special. I only have what I have right behind me today. Now, um, the difference between a Grizzly and a Dubless. Hi, Susie, is a uh, Grizzly has a uh, leather and suede. And uh, Dubless only has, it's like a touch, yeah. yeah. Whereas this it is a suede only. So th that's the difference, the difference is the combination of two. And it's 26,200 pounds, which is 33,313 US dollars. If you want it, you can get it. It is, again, just beautiful. I mean, look at that. Look at that, how amazing. Okay, where am I? Now, the other color that is on my, a Nosette Birkin Alley is a, a Birkin that is in the color of hazelnut. So, a, a, like a hazelnut color, like a dark chocolate brown. Um, now, are you ready for the bag that I have, I'm manifesting in terms of leather colors? And the one colour that I really, really want in a Birkin is Rouge H. Rouge H is on my wish list. It is not available on a wish list. It's on a wish list outside of the Hermes system because Hermes do no longer do the Rouge H. Rouge H is, for me, a classic colour just like Blue Jean. I have a feeling Hermes are going to bring back Rouge H. I don't know why. It's my Hermes feeling. In a, in a, I have Rouge H. I've got no understanding or connection to Hermes, but that's just the feeling that I feel like it's going to come back. Now, Rouge H is a beautiful, deep burgundy tone, which is incredible. It is a colour that you are going to be able to find in the pre-loved market. Um, and, um, oh, what's Anna seen? Now, oh, the Rouge H. Um, and this piece is just beautiful. It's Epsom. It's got the H pop buckle. I'm like, do I buy this so I can get the B Birkin 25 in my life? I don't know. It's a, it's a nice burgundy tone. It's got red and warm undertones to it. So it's going to go with so, so much. Um, and we see, we do often see it in small leather goods, but I, I've not seen one come from the store, uh, brand new. Birkin 25 in a while. They did them for a, a while in 2021 in Kelly's, but never in a, tw I have not seen it in a 25. Which now, one? in Ruth H, I've not seen any Birkin 25 new, right? Have you? Um, so this is the Rouge H Birkin 25, that little bit of a pop of red and burgundy. And, um, oh, interesting. But maybe, was hers new? Was hers 2024? Mitch, right? The suede Kelly cut. Was hers 2023? Or was it a pre-love piece? Because um, I'm not... Oh, did she, or did she get... Did she, is that the one she scored from the store? Maybe. Well, that is good news, if it is, coming out. Um, now, this again is beautiful. You've got your H enamel buckle. Anna, maybe you need this. Um, maybe you need this. And then maybe you'll manifest this into your life maybe you manifest the bag into your life um so this is a new inbox it is epsom and the size on this is going to be 85 so it's a size 85 again amazing love it it's yellow gold a real classic it goes with carnelian hang on i feel like i need to do a flip I'm feeling the vibe. I'm gonna flip. I'm feeling Rouge H vibe. So there you go. I'm fully Rouge H now. It's 615 pounds or 781 US dollars for this piece. So if you are looking for a belt, I love, love, love this. Somebody needs this one. I. It's stunning. It's so nice.
nice. I, this with some red, like a, I don't know, a burgundy, but another bag, a red Birkin, doesn't have to be a Rouge H, but this is the red you need in your life. Sonna, you, do you need a red bag? Sonna, I think you need a Constance. That's what I think you need. Um, and it does go with so much. You're right, Tia. It really, really does. Okay. Now, Goyard. Who is here for some Goyard love? Where's my drink? Put it, put it. Oh. Put it. Okay, let me know who here is here for Goya. I'm going to do some Goya. I'm going to have a sip of water, refresh myself, energise and come back. One second. <laughs> I'm refreshed. I'm refreshed. I did it sound at the end. Okay. I have in my hands so much. Don't even know what to do with these little hands. I have a Goyard bag that's coming next. Now, the other bag that we are seeing, people go crazy for. And one of the reasons why I wanted to get this was because uh, I think you need a blue jean constant, Sonna. I think you do. At that price point, you need it. You do. It's such a good bag. And the price is as the same price as a free loved Constance. It's so good. If you want me to show you, if anyone is tuning in, welcome. And let me know if you uh, want me to do any recaps on any of the bags behind me. Now, this is the bag that is one of the most requested bags that we can't get hold of, which is the Goyard. Now, Goyard, again, is kind of like Hermes. Very limited. The Q in London. I have never even been in to the Goyard sto store ever. Actually, no, that's a lie. I went maybe like seven years ago into the store, but I couldn't get anything. So this is, I start my work, uh, journey to work around 8.30 in the morning. There is a queue. There is a queue outside the Goyard store. I walk past it every single day and the queue is there. Now, if you have looked, they, they don't do it, Sana. They've reintroduced, the first time ever, they've reintroduced it in, they've introduced it into a constant. Now, this is a beautiful Goyard piece. It's brand new, it's never been used. It's in one of the Holy Grail colors, which is green. So this emerald green is, um, goes for super premium. So actually, the green, the gray, the black, and the electric blue is very, very um, good to get your hands on. Like obviously, if you get a baby pig Saigon, get it. Like, if you get any Goyard, guys, from the store, grab it. St. Louis Tokes, uh, Saigon, any type of bag, which is a classic, grab it from Goyard. Now, this is uh, the keeper equivalent off a of Goyard. Now, it's a travel bag. You've got the one pocket feature here. It is new, the plastics are still on this. So this is a good keep, uh, weekend bag. It's gonna be around the 65 centimeters. Now, this has got the beautiful yellow interior, which is what Goyard is famously known for, having that beautiful um, interior. Now, the strap is included inside, so the strap is inside uh, the bag as well, which I'm, I'm not gonna undo just because it's a new piece. So it is, the most chicest travel bag that you can grab. It's 5,150 pounds, which is 5,000, 6,548 US dollars. So again, if you're looking for an ultimate bag, which is rare, hard to come by, not everybody's gonna have, is the real, I'd say, the G. You're gonna be the G if you have this bag. Like, how else you travel but in Goyard? Like, this is, this is not business class. This is first class travel bag. You, but just don't take the first class flight. Just get the first class bag. I mean, that's girl maths. That's girl maths. If someone said, get a bag and not travel in first class, that is worth it. That is worth it. For 12 hours of your life, you're going on a plane. Just grab the Goyard, guys. Just grab it. Ditch the, the expensive flight. Get the bag. It's going to last you past the 12 hours. Okay. Just giving you some girl maths reasoning there, girls and guys. Okay, Sana. Let me show you. The Constance. It is amazing. I know I'm going back to this bag, but someone needs the Constance. I'm telling you. 
I will never ever get this bag. It's the first time ever that I have had a constant, the first time ever that the blue jean has ever been launched in the constant in an Epsom with palladium hardware, with contrast stitching. Hermes only ever introduced blue jean in Kelly or a Birkin. And so this is the first time we've seen it in a constant and a mini color, size 18. It should be around the 19,000 pound mark. The price on this is crazy. Honestly, it's a really, really great price point if you're looking to add, like it's the same price as what Prelar Black Constance with gold hardware would go for. And I know um, you can't get it. Like you will not regret, ah, oh, it's it just, I am sorry. It just looks so chic on. I'm sorry, I have to go for a walk. I have to go for a walk. I'm gonna take myself to a mirror. I mean, this, I'm loving it. Look how good this looks. <laughs> Son, I can hear you say, look at that. Look at that. How good would this be? Right, B? Like, we sold the Kellys, the mini Kelly constant, the mini Kelly blue jeans for £30,000. £32,000 is the price of a mini Kelly constant, uh, a mini Kelly in a blue jean. And this, the customer does not want a premium price that they, sh they should get. They just was like, I'd rather get a quicker sale. I don't want to wait for 20K for the bag. That's kind of what we could have sold this bag for, guys. And it's the first time I've had this on the show. So to be able to get this, I am telling you, let me know. I, let, let me know. Can we make this work for somebody? Like, how? How can we do girl maths together? I want a girl maths with somebody today. Like, let's get together. Do we create a bag fund for everyone to buy the bag? And I do, I'm a, a big fan of Palladium Hardware. It's just beautiful and it's rare. No one else is going to have this. Even amongst the huge collectors, the huge collectors out there, they are not going to have this in their collection. It is a special, a real special piece. Now, talking about special piece, um, Bahrainia. This is the Bahrainia Birkin 25. Anyone want the Constance today? Someone needs that one of the bags today. One of the B25s or the Constance. Well, everything is amazing here, but I feel like that Constance is the bag that needs to be gone today. It's because, Anna, they don't know what they, they are being offered. They don't know what they've been offered. You guys do. The difference is, guys, you have all the information from these live shows to take or leave what you want. Um, uh, so, Lyle, the bags only come with authenticity cards because it, there is no way to put a unique code to it. So, Lyle, all our items are authentic and there is no authenticity card. We've just, the team have just got back um, to the store today. Uh, it's only been myself uh, pretty much in. Um, so, we do not use um, authenticity cards purely because there's not a, a, a unique code that we can attach from the watch, but they are, it is all guaranteed authentic, 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 can't even say the word, split the payment over 1,200 pounds. Now, this is the Birkin 25 in a Bahrainia. Now guys, if you know, Bahrainia leather is very much a, a rare, rare bag to come by. We don't see often in the market. It's got gold hardware. It is beautiful. It is new with box. It's the classic of classics. Now, if you're thinking about a bag that's going to be aging really beautifully, Borania leather does age incredibly, guys. It is, it's as oily leather. So in, once the oil releases, it changes over time, but that only adds to the character of the bag. Now, this is a 2023 bag. It features contrast stitching. So um, colors which will feature contrast, as I've said before, is Eto. Gold, blue jean, bubble gum. Those are some of the colors that feature that contrast stitching. Now, this is a real classic bag. And again, we don't see Bahrainia in the market often. So if you are looking for the ultimate collector bag, I, I really have pulled out a lot of 25s today, uh, purely because it is one of the bags that we are expecting to see. Um, so, and I'm going to get... Uh, get um, Rachel just to reveal the stamp on this in a second. But the reason why I started the show with 2025s 
is oh you don't have the Borrowing in the collection uh let me grab the skew for you give me one second rachel give me one second Um, Rachel, hi, I'm back. Um, you should have it in the collection. Um, if you, um, Jess is going to send you the skew anyway. So Jess will send you the skew in a second. So um, I'm going to share information on this in a second. Um, and this one is, so we have a Borinia one, which she will give you in a second. So that's going to come in five minutes. Now, Borinia is one of those leathers that it just has these natural, um, it's not an even colour, so it's an uneven colour. You have um, some colours which looks a bit darker, and then it has the wear to it, which is why I love the bag. It's like a naturally worn leather, kind of like aged calf skin on Chanel. So here we have this bag. It's going to be pinned in a second. In the meantime, guys, let me know if there's anything you want me to recap because it is that I don't, I have very limited amount of pieces here, which I want to take my time to go through. So if you have any questions about any of the items that we are talking about, or if you've got any Hermes questions, please ask me. That's what the show is uh, designed for. I, I do have a lot of bags which I do go through, but I don't want to show you 500 bags and you not under, really understand the product which I'm showing you. So if you have any questions, ask me. And what is on everyone's wish list? That's what I want to know. What is everybody wishing for? So my wish list is Rouge H Birkin 25 and a Nosset Birkin or a Kelly in suede. Pre-loved. The more uh, the more used, the better. So that's my wish list. I want to know what is on everyone's wish list. I have no cargo twenty-five. Um, I you're wishing for a cargo twenty-five, a Birkin twenty-five neutral or a dark color. These are good twenty-fives. Twenty-fives. We I think we've got one pre-loved Birkin twenty-five coming up on a Hermes Marathon. So if you guys are looking for pre-love pieces, we have um, 12th, 13th and 14th, we've got a lot coming. So lots of pieces coming. A special order mini Kelly. Wow, VJ. Kelly 25, black lady hardware. Kath, Emily wants a Constance. Silver wants a Birkin 13 orange. Some of your wishes may be coming true though. We do have some of these bags coming up. Um, Burt comic. Have you used your Kelly? What did you score B recently? Was it a Burke or a Kelly? Have you used it? I do have a black Burke, a black Kelly 25 gold hardware coming up in a second. And mini Lindy's are at a premium price. So we do find mini Lindy, mini Gypsier. They are sold at premium price points. So they are sold above retail. They are not... Um, they are not quota bags. You are not doing anything with the price of Bahrainia. You can, we can pin it. Is the price good? She's probably like, oh God, what are we doing to the Bahrainia price? Okay, now I'm scared. <laughs> um, black or Etain? Actually, you know one bag I don't actually have in my collection, Kath, is a black Birkin. 25. I don't have a black Birkin 25. I need to add that into my collection. Thanks, Kath. Now I need to add another one. I'd love a Palladium hardware or rose gold. Rose gold Birkin 25. Um, 
there isn't any paper from Chanel, but you say it's come. So Lyle, as mentioned, the watches don't come with paperwork, but you do have the email that will prove the authenticity of it. We don't have any paperwork, so it doesn't come with any Chanel paperwork. Uh, but the uh, the email that you do get from the um, purchase is the form of authentication for it. So you can use that. There is no card with it. Uh, go our trunk that are numbered bags. Are they limited edition? Yes, they are limited edition pieces. Now I'm going to just quickly show you again. This is £24,200, which is $30,770 US dollars. I believe it's a stamp from 2023, but Anna, I think you were asking about the stamping. You should be able to find the stamping of that inside uh, in the description. Now I'm going to do the Kelly 25 next, which is this piece. It's a Togo 25. It's from 2023. Perfect. So this is a black Kelly 25. Now one of the cut bags that we don't see often is Kelly 25. So if you've scored like B did a bag, a Kelly from the store, it is incredibly hard to find the Kelly 25, even from the store. They make more Birkin 25s than they do Kelly 25. So Kelly 25 um, oh, I, I'm not too sure yet. I'm not too sure what the 2024 stamp will be. Now, this is a Togo Kelly 25 with black and gold hardware. It is uh, 2023. It is new wood box and dust bag. It is return ace. So it's soft structured. That, this is my, my favorite structure for a Kelly because it means that you can go inside and outside the bag very easily without having to damage or stretch the bag. It's a much more softer structured bag. Plus you can take this day to night. Uh, the Kelly 25 is a bit more comfortable than the 25 Birkin for me, because I feel like I can't... Hi, Amber. Um, just talking to the law. Um, so it's a much more comfortable bag in terms of, you can, you can put this in the crook of your arm. The 25 for me gets stuck up, stuck here. So it's literally stuck. Um, so, Perspop has just released the price points, and you'll also find we've done it. We've also we're also going to be launching a video on the prices as well today. So on our Instagram as well, guys, we will also be talking about the prices of um, Hermes um, items today. So do also check that out as well. Um, if you want to know exact prices, then Monica is also sharing that on Perspop.com. Now, the, oh my God, I love the 25, guys. Absolutely love the Kelly 25. I actually have to say the Kelly 25 in Returne is a favorite of mine um, and very easy to use. You can put over the shoulder. £23,100 or $29,371. I have one Picatinny tonight, I think, right? Can't remember which color I put. Now, just to let you guys know, in terms of the uh, piece, um, the Kelly 25, we don't have much of an option. So this is now available and pinned, and the 25 is the bag to be basically be going for. Now, I have a, another Kelly 25 in a Celia. Now you can really see the difference. It is much bigger. The 25 in a Celia is much more bigger. So if you're somebody who doesn't want a big, bag and you are really fussy about sizing then don't go for cellia cellia is going to be around one centimeter bigger in size you can see um the size difference between here so you can actually see uh, that this is a much not much bigger it's a bit bigger Hermes jewelry buy it in pre-love market not in the resale market not in the uh, pre-love like buy it in the resale markets below retail in the resale market not worth getting unless you are going to be building a relationship with an essay and she's going to give you a bag then don't get it it doesn't hold its resale value stick to Van Cleef, Hermes or Bulgari now this is a or now yeah so those are the three brands I'd stick to fine jewelry Hermes I love Hermes but their fine jewelry is not up there no Bad, bad. Um, the Kelly um, stamp, you should be able to find the Kelly stamp. Rachel, can you help me with the Kelly stamping? So guys, if you are tuning in, uh, please note, if you want to see further information about each bag and the exact stamping, if you tap on the picture, you'll be able to find out um, the stamp. So Rachel, can you just confirm the stamp on the black Kelly for me? 
Here we go. Now, this is the colour Blue Celeste, Kelly 25 in Epsom. I love Blue Celeste with gold hardware. I prefer gold hardware when it comes to Blue Celeste. I have, Monica, I'm, we're, we're bringing it. We're bringing it this 20 year, 2024, Monica. I had such an amazing, me, me and Monica had a, uh, an amazing, like, almost like a midnight feast. So Monica was in New York by chance. So the Kelly, um, Black Kelly is 2022. Um, so with, um, because there's less supply in it, there's less supply on the Kelly. Uh, the Kelly Picatinny, the Picatinny I have, I believe, is this one in Rouge Cassac, which I love. So Rouge Cassac, uh, Cassac Picatinny. So that's pinned, Epsom. Um, you'll see full details. Rachel, if you could share the stamping on each bag, that would be great. Um, so this is, um, again, amazing. Uh, comes with dust bag, key, clochette, and its original receipt is £22,650 and £28,799. Um, and then I will just do the Picatine. So I'm just going to get Rachel to confirm the stamp. So guys, Hermes has had a price increase today. Thank you, Rachel. 2023. Hermes has had an official price increase. Um, we have a video going up live. And if you check out Monica's um, Instagram, um, her Mos Monica's PurseBop.com, you'll find full information on the price increases. We also do have a video, um, a reel going up today on price increases, which you'll find over at Luxury Promise Instagram. Share, guys, share the video. Um, now, this is a Rouge Cassac. Now, Rouge Cassac for me, Holy Grail Red, Rouge Vif, Rouge Cassac. They're the top reds that Hermes has done. I love Rouge Cassac. It's, it's a colour that was launched in the candy collection 2007 to 2009. Now, um, it's just not my dream price. What is your dream price? What is your... It's not going to drop, um, unfortunately. We find brand new Hermes bags just don't drop um, like the pre-love bag. So that's one thing that we find in the resale market. Everything else did have, like you will find some purchases drop, but uh, brand new Birkins 25s or but any brand new Hermes Birkin or Kelly doesn't typically drop. So um, I will have Birkin 35s in black pre-loved on the 12th of January. So mark your calendars, guys. 12th, 13th and 14th of January, we are going to be bringing you more Hermes pieces unworn to unworn and used pieces so at crazy price points so this is um clement's leather gold hardware beautiful red like look how amazing this red is now the picatine um is a size 18 again they come in two sizes this is they do have a little mini this is i'll show you the mini versus the um this Look at this mini ostrich. How cute. Uh, Ali, no. Uh, they are resale wise, but I mean, if you're going to spend £6,000 on a Kelly to go wallet, I really don't think it's worth it. Like, put your money in a pre love Birkin or a Kelly. Buy a box Kelly. Spend a little bit more. Like, just don't do it. Don't spend £7,000 on a Kelly wallet. It's a wallet with a strap. Buy it a wallet, Kelly wallet, pre loved, and add a strap to it. I, you won't, I don't see, you don't see me selling a lot of, uh, the Kelly cut is rare. I was actually meant to do a Kelly cut shadow and I forgot to add it. Should we pin that, Rachel? Let's pin it. I forgot to bring it with me. Um, so this is the mini con, mini, uh, Picatine versus the 18. Now this is 4,600 pounds, which is 5,848 US dollars. Um, and this is not yet available, but it is, is a mini, mini baby ostrich Picatinny. How cute! I have no Kelly 28s. We do have Kelly 28s on the 12th of February. Now I have my last bag of the day, I believe, which is this. This is a Birkin 25, and 
It is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful mushroom. Now mushroom, there's my Kelly Shadow, which is up at 10,900 pounds, which is the first edition Kelly Shadow. Hermes has reintroduced the Hermes Kelly Shadow and they are going for crazy price points. Bye Lydia, good night everybody, good night Syrah. Now that is the bag to go for. I don't have it with me. If you want me to show you videos, I was meant to feature it in my show. I have featured it in the show before. It is a pre-loved first edition launched by Jean-Paul Gaultier. So Hermes have done a few collaborations. Uh, John Hardy, which you will see is the brogue style Gillies Birkin and Kelly, and then Jean Paul Gaultier, which was the shoulder Birkin and the um, shoulder Kelly. Now, also including the so black and the so black Kelly shadow, and that price that is pinned down there right now is crazy. It's the first ever Swift box leather. Kelly Shadow, it's got a magnetic opening. It is the bag, the bag to go for tonight. If you're gonna go for a bag that is rare and under 11,000 pounds, that is it. That is the bag, I'm telling you. It's the cool, edgy bag. And we've now just seen, I know you guys are talking about influencers wearing it, we've just seen Tamara with her Kelly Shadow. Now, let me just quickly show you what the Kelly, and now everyone's gonna want it. So I know some of you guys may not be too happy when you see an influencer wear it, However, once they have it on them, people start wanting them. So they influence, that's their job. Uh, well, I'll do it for 10,900 then. I'll do it for 10,900. Let's reduce that to 10,900. I got my price completely wrong, but let's do it for 10,900. Anyone gonna check out? Um, someone needs a bag tonight. Oh, I, I'm gonna say that, All, everyone needs a bag. We need a bag every night. So I did see, I swear I did see, yeah. So there we go. Tamara with her grey shadow. And so guys, you are going to find more and more people were requesting it. Although I know guys, you are too keen on it. When they wear it, who, who cares? But it makes it more valuable. Um, now the price has been updated for £10,900. That Kelly shadow is available. It is absolutely stunning. If you need me to show you further details once you uh, do it, I'm only going to make the offer available for the next hour, the Kelly shadow. I will let anyone check out the customs and duties. After that, guys, I won't be able to do it. And I promise you, you've got my word on it. I'll buy it back from you. If you decide you don't want it, you've got my word on that shadow. You are not going to be able to find a bag like that again. Now, this is the colour uh, mushroom. Now, Amos has introduced a... Um, so, the Kelly cut should be... Let me just give me, give me one second. Let me just check. Um, bear with me, G. It's amazing. I love it. I love it. The shadow. Oh my God. We, we have a brand new shadow up right now at 14,400, which is the same one that is being worn by um, Tamara, actually. Now the black shadow, I can't find it, Rachel. Is it pinned? Is it in the listing? Or if you can tell me the, oh, here we go. Uh, it is M in a square. It is M in a square. It is M in a square, which is, can you add that to the listing, Rachel? It's, it's done hashtag. It's done in Hermes language. So hi, Hashtag M in trader language means the stamping. Guys, just so you know. So if you ever see a list, this is how people talk in the world of Hermes. Um, Hermes B25 Togo GHW Mushroom. <laughs> 
B stamp, not even B, B. Um, so it's B in a, it, yes, it's M in a square. So it's 2009. It's a 2009 stamp G, uh, which was the year off that. That's how they talk. So um, you'll find that in, in the description. So this is a, another beautiful light gray tone. So mushroom is the a newest light gray that Hermes has introduced. Quite, it's like an off gray. And it is a stunning color. Now, typically when Hermes introduced the uh, mushroom, they, only, they, they introduced mushroom with a lot of palladium hardware. I love it with the gold hardware. The color is quite close to cray and nata, but and in between. But you aren't paying, paying the price point of cray and nata. If this was cray and nata, you're looking at 24 and a half thousand pounds. Mushroom is um, got much more like a softer, I think a softer, like a lighter gray, like the bottom of the mushroom. And this is absolutely stunning. Oh my God, that would be crazy, crazy in a gray color. Now this is 21,650 pounds. It's 27,528 US dollars. It is really, really beautiful. It's like a, this is, let me just show you Nata, which is the next bag I do have. It's a, Nata is much more warmer, but far away, um, it is crazy. It's a, it's, you think almost the same. Out of mind, you don't think it's the same, but when you put them together, you're like, oh, they do look really different. So Nata is much more warmer. And if you really want to confuse the mix, add in Trench. You're like, what? They all look the same, but when they're all together, they don't look the same, which is what is crazy. I, I know, Deb, right? Um, Deb, it isn't, I, I, I love the suede. By the way, Deb, I've been looking at it. It's like, a bag that has no real structure to it, but I love that. I love the slouchiness of that row bag. And the, it's the suede. It's the suede that does it, Deb. That's what does it for me. Now, the next bag I have is a special order, Mini Kelly, which is, again, a beautiful, beautiful piece. Now, this is in the color Nata and Epsom. And this is beautiful it's a really nice warm tone and actually against the mushroom you really can see that warmth that in in nata so i'd say uh cray is a much more cooler tone mushroom is completely cool it almost has in some lights a green undertone now this is a beautiful nata mini kelly um norma are you still there were you not after a nata mini kelly this is amazing it is Epsom, oh, we don't have this. Is it Cray or Nata? Am I going mad? It's the one we've got a special order, um, Rachel. Maybe they put out, brought out the wrong bag. Or maybe it's Cray. I don't even know anymore. One second. Uh, let me just see. My battery's died, so I can't even, oh, hang on. D, it's... Like the row bags are amazing. Have you seen the chocolate brown one? Um, okay, let me have a look. You're right. You're right. It is a cray. Guys, I had this wrong. See, I don't I can't tell the difference between cray, Epsom, um, I can't tell the difference between Cray and Epsom, guys. I really can't. It is honestly a crazy colour. Now you can see the warmth of Cray. I'm like, does it look much more cooler? So this is def this is a Cray one, guys. Sorry, my mistake. So this is a Cray Mini Kelly Epsom with Palladium hardware, and it is amazing. Are they this Deb? Are they the same price? Are the row bags the same prices as? Hermes, really? I did not know that. I haven't looked. At, I've seen the look of it, but I'm like, I, I, I never would probably. I love the look. I, I haven't looked to buying it because I'm very, you know me. I'm very like stick to my Hermes bag. Uh, if my if I've got ba budget, it's going to go into Hermes, Chanel, Van Cleef, but Bulgari, Cartier, the rest of it, no. But interesting to know. So this is the Mini Kelly in a Cray Palladium Hardware. This one is Cray Palladium Hardware, and this is Mushroom, Lydia. This is Mushroom with Gold Hardware. 
So add mushroom and cray. Okay, so guys, I think I've covered all the bags I have today. Um, thank you so much for being with me. Now guys, let me know if there's any last uh, minute recaps that you want me to go through before um, I do um, head off for the day. Uh, that's okay, Lydia. I wasn't sure if you were talking about Birkin or Kelly, but thank you for helping. Now, I am I'm really excited about all the shows. So I do have a special show. Um, that's £26,200 or US dollars We have so many amazing uh, pieces, guys, coming up. Now, guys, oh, uh-oh. Um, oh, thank you, Deb. I'm glad you enjoy it. I'm glad you're here to enjoy it. My brain probably switches off. So, ah, oh, Deb, thank you. The other girls, ha we all bring something very unique and different to the show. Um, it's probably because our passions may be similar. So I do find that if you do like some particular person's show, it may be that we just may have similar interests or tastes or um, the same banter. Deb, maybe we've got the same, Deb. I'm sure we do. <laughs> now, on Friday, I do have my next show. And a lot, of you, a lot of you have been asking about my little mini diamond rings. So this is launching on Friday. So I have heart-shaped rings. I have heart-shaped rings. Let me show you what's coming. Marquee, pear, and oval. So I have these beautiful mini diamond rings coming up. I wear mine every single day as a stacking piece and um, it is amazing. So these are going to be dropping. The price will be around £600. They are natural diamonds. They are FVS coloured diamonds. This one I wear every day so it doesn't uh, look so shiny but it is a great for stacking and um, I love wearing them together like this because it's like my little mini two on moi me to you or me to me rings. So if you guys are looking for a nice stackable, I also have the thin bands which you can use so that you can layer these up and make them much more wider and dress them up or dress them down. Um, Deb, do let me know what you want. In terms of, I can get vintage ostrich, probably bleed. I haven't seen them new. So if you are interested, feel free to drop me a um, DM on Instagram, which is Sabrina Sadiq, and I can see what I can find and just show you what's available in the market. And Lydia, I love transferring my knowledge. I love talking about bags, hence why I do this for a living. Imagine if I didn't like talking about bags, I would be in big trouble right now. Um, and I'm excited to that. I'm excited for 2024. I really am. Uh, it's, I'm, I'm looking for really bringing back those investment pieces, which is true to myself. I stand by my products and I really want to be behind the pieces that I really stand by. I don't want to be doing product. I don't stand behind, behind, uh, behind. And that's why I'm going to be uh, really focusing um, on those pieces, which are going to be um, coming soon. So that's why I'm like excited about these big, big investment piece edits. So keep the dates free on the 12th, the 12th, 13 and 14, that's Hermes. And I do have Kelly 32s and 35s coming on those shows as well. And then if you're a Chanel lover and you're looking for Chanel investment pieces, 26 is Chanel bags, 27th is Chanel ready to wear, or, and 28th, I can't remember what day, but those three days, is going to be um, the Chanel investment bag. And we, we have done it. Someone was like, why 20? And I'll have 28 calf too. We have everything from box to exotics to 25 pre-loved, non-pre-loved Birkins, everything. Um, I love turquoise necklaces too. Me too, Lydia. Um, so it, it, it does, it does, you're right. You're right, Lydia. I actually need to show you one of my newest purchases. Um, now, thank you so much. Again, if you have any requests for recaps 
or any um, requests for further information, please feel free to reach out to me, Sabrina Sadiq. Uh, you can also message Lisa on WhatsApp and she can get back to you with further images. She's back in the office tomorrow. She's usually with me on the Hermes show and we can help you with deciding on that big purchase that you may need or may not need in your life anymore. So there you go. I just realized I stopped talking and the hunger struck. The hunger came out, I'm like, oh my God, I need food. <laughs> okay guys, thank you so much. And we don't have any show after today. So everything is gonna be sitting at the bottom of the, uh, at the front of the website. So people can, when they land, they know that they need a mess in their life. Sorry to say. Bye everyone, good night. Have a fantastic day and see you tomorrow. Bye.